Welcome back. I'm your host, Fritz Kapulong. With me today is Mr. Edward Lee. He's the chairman of Citisec Online. Uh, good morning, Edward. Good morning. Yes, uh, a while ago we were talking about supply and demand, and that's the reason why uh, certain prices go up when the markets are depressed. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, uh, market pr shares go down when the markets are depressed because a lot of people are selling. That's correct. When they get scared, yes. And uh, pr share prices go up when the market is good because a lot of people are buying. Yes, the perception that uh, the, the economy is going to recover, mm -hmm. earnings are going to be good. That's why people are now more aggressively. Maybe the environment is much better, so they're more bullish, so they're willing to pay a higher price for, uh, for, for the stocks. Now, it's a good thing you, you pointed out perception. Perception plays a part in the prices of certain stocks. Perception plays on everything. It's how you perceive things that created the, the up and down of stock market uh, compared to reality. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, in February 2009, uh, CitySec Online, we have a market briefing and we were telling people to, to invest, started, start investing in the stock market. And uh, we came up with nine stocks basically at that time selling at 20 cents to a dollar. 20 cents, meaning wow. yeah, yeah. it's so cheap. Right? People mm -hmm. didn't believe in it. Uh, people were scared. People were still bailing out. By the March bottom, the market started rallying. And today, most of those issues that we could recommend have gone up three, 400 times. Wow. That's correct, yes. The EI was 70, 80 cents. Today, EI is three pe more than three pesos. URC was about six, seven pesos. Today, URC is 25 pesos. Metro Bank was 20 something pesos. Today, Metro Bank is 50 pesos. So you can see that during crisis, wherein the perception was really bad, but in reality, all of these companies are being sold down to 20 cents to a dollar. And it was an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to participate in those issues. What affects perception? Uh, well, it's uh, human behavior. It's uh, fear, greed, hope, and desperation. It creates perceptions. So once you understand how to understand human behavior, then you'll be able to make a lot of money. So what you're telling us is that well, we should buy when everyone else is selling. Yes, indirectly, yes. But uh, we're not teaching you that. Uh, what we're teaching now is that an easy investment program, which is a dollar cost averaging, is that buying good companies over time will have the same effect. Because if there's a crisis and you're continuing to invest your 10, 20, or 20,000 20, or 20% 20 of your savings in good companies, you will be able to participate when there's a crisis. The worst is selling during a crisis, wow. right? Okay. Which you, instead of uh, being able to participate and buying good companies during those depressed prices, you'll be selling at those depressed prices. And that's what happened to a lot of people. People, because of being scared, not understanding what is the financial market is all about, the stock market is all about, they just read the newspaper. And uh, when you see the newspaper that you know, there's a Great Depression coming, Close your eyes and put everything there and you'll make a lot of money so over time. So they panic, they that's sell right. their shares. That's right. And that's, that's right. the reason why they lose in the stock market. That's correct. That's correct. Well, that's, that, that's one way. Or the second way is that they make so much money, they will start investing in uh, penny stocks, wherein they will lose a lot of money also. Because these are basically stocks that are being promoted and being uh, speculated. So, or so what are penny stocks, uh, essentially? So Penny stocks are a lot of times, it's, uh, there's no earnings. It's just a concept stock uh, based on what they can do. So they create the perception that they will be able to deliver a lot of things. But in reality, there's no earnings. Uh, they're not able to execute it properly. So since there's no earnings, there is, uh, so basically there's, the value of the company is, uh, is really zero. So more or less, these companies are startups. A lot of times uh, there are startups, a lot of times uh, they are trying to create a model for them to be able to make it, but they don't.